So for today's Planet of Zoo video, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. I've been working on the same zoo a lot, and that zoo is actually called Zooey Deschanel, as you can see, it's the 2 million one. We've got 200 animals in there, it's mental. But you know what? I thought, let's have a look at some of my starter zoos. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the first zoo ever that I made because I deleted it as it was ugly and I hated it. But we've got the second one I ever made, which is this one here, it's called Who. Let's have a quick look at it. If you're wondering what the point of this video is, it's basically just to see how far I've come, how my building skills have improved, etc. So this is the first zoo I ever made. As you can see, it is tiny. I don't know why, but I always wanted to start with tortoises. Not sure what it is about them, but we've got loads of tortoises. Quite old tortoises in here as well. I was really happy with this little thing here, but I'm pretty sure neither of them can fit underneath it. So it's like no point whatsoever of having that there. This little pond of water is like just, look at all how rough this is around the edge and stuff. It just looks terrible. I didn't smooth any of this out. This heater is just like morphing through the ground. I've also only put one scream. The glass is literally a state. The speaker's floating. Oh my gosh. I remember being really proud of this pond and being like, wow, that's a really nice pond. Look how basic it is. <laughs> it's not good. I used all this sort of like vanilla buildings as well. All these shops are closed. I made like a little seating area over here for people to eat food on, which obviously no one's going to do. Really out of the way. So a few food shops here. The toilets as well. Very basic. Then I think we've got some Nile monitors over here. Ooh, I've got an albino boy. But once again, look how basic this enclosure is. Just the glass around the outside. Why did I not make this glass? Like, what's the point of this not being glass? This is the only point you can see them from. I should have put glass here. I'm so, this is so stupid. These plants at the back here, just super boring enclosure really, isn't it? Got the information booth, just bits of like grass everywhere. Everything's so like, I, I tried to make this curved and stuff. It just still looks weird. We've got like another shop over here. Then we've got our walk-in enclosure, which is for our Indian peafowls. Wow, I just built stuff for the most boring animals. As you can see, it just does a little loop. There's two hard shelters for them to sleep in. Once again, just super basic. There's quite a lot of them in there. And then this is like when I started to like get a bit more creative. We've got our bear enclosure. I think these are brown bears? Grizzly bears. So I built this little thing here. Let me see. Can you, uh, they can get in there. There's a lot of ground they can't use still up here. I made this little stream thing with, look at this rock placement. They're so bad. Oh man. All these rocks around. Got some water for them to swim in. And we just got this monstrosity coming over the top. Oh dear, this does not look good, does it? A pretty basic zoo, that's as far as I got. That was like my second zoo, and then I was like, this is terrible, I'm restarting. And then I moved on to this next zoo. So this zoo is a little bit more focused on making stuff look nice. As you can see, we've got a lot more trees in here and stuff. The first thing I did was put in this big long street, I remember, and then we had like our staff area over here, which I actually, the pond here doesn't look too bad. Quite nice, nice little, I think that's an information booth there. Plus like just some rocks and stuff. Just trying to try to make it look a bit nice. I see, you know, as you can see, we got all the staff area back here. Not sure why there's one Asian one and then the rest are just normal. But I, I remember starting over this side, we made like this cute little fountain here. I remember being really proud of this. We've got like a little enclosure with some animals in, some Western diamond rattlesnakes. And then we made our tortoise enclosure. I went for a different effect this time. I did like a glass roof on the top to try and make it a bit more interesting. We've got loads of tortoises here. I remember getting out of control with how many tortoises we had. Still just like a square enclosure, very basic again but lots more plants this time. Started to get a bit more creative, you know. We've got like this shopping district, which is just way too many shops for how small this zoo is. Look how small this zoo is. And we've got all these shops at the center here, which aren't being used, obviously. And then I remember we branched out and we made like this little waterfall here. It feels so nice for everything to run smoothly. My newest zoo is lagging because of how laggy it is, but I don't like these. I've done this here, that does not look good. Put some like more animals enclosures over here, very nice, and then we had some Chinese pangolins on the left, a very basic looking enclosure once again. Started to add some rocks in again. I did that thing once again, completely useless. <laughs> Went a bit wild with the exhibits here, I'm not sure why. Add another little pond in here. Then this was like another little staff area which I made, which I was actually quite proud of. It was quite hidden away there. Should have used some more decorating in here, but that's not bad. Then we have our black bears here, which I kind of went a bit crazy with this enclosure. Added in some like mountainy bits, some water, made like a very precarious like viewing section here. Like people would literally just fall into the water here. Not very realistic, but interesting nonetheless. And then we've got like this cool little restaurant here, which I was really proud of. I've across this pond here, which I thought was nice. Little floating lanterns. And we had like some, what are these? Komodo dragons in an enclosure here as well, which is like more of a different sized enclosure now. I was quite happy with that one. Uh, still not amazing though, really, is it? And then I remember starting off like this Asian area here. I spent ages making a tunnel 
through there for people to walk through and then we had like a little restaurant up here but that's as far as I got and then I was like this is rubbish once again let's start over and then I, the next zoo is one that I actually spent a long time on so this zoo is called smallish zoo as you can see we've got 82 animals in here in comparison to the 22 and 25 we had before 3,000 people in and we've got a lot of money in this zoo so as you can see this zoo is a lot bigger than the other ones and I actually had quite a lot of plans for this zoo it's all very compact and I quite like the layout of this one I'll show you it now so we've got the entrance here just the standard entrance and on the left, we've got like some information and stuff and we've got some like refreshments as it says on the sign and some toilets over here. Got a nice little like sort of patio here with some benches as well, which people did use, I remembered. Then we got this massive fountain in the center with these rocks around it and like a really cool lake over here with an island in the middle, lily pads and stuff like that. My plan was to have like a river boat going around here, but we never got that far. And we got some like souvenirs and stuff over here, which people would buy. And then once again, the first enclosure I built were tortoises. So we got this tortoise enclosure in here, which looks a bit bad because we've got this fence and then we've got the glass behind it because originally I just had the fence, but then they got really shy and it didn't work. So I had to add in the glass as well as everyone came by the zoo and these guys were just like hating life. But I made this pretty cool like sort of enclosure for them to live in here. Very rocky, very nice. And then we had our crocodiles in here, which look at this beast. Look at that absolute monster of a croc that people could come in here. I put like the signs on the back here. I was quite happy with how that looked. And then we got the glass viewing section and they had water here as well. Quite a nice little enclosure for them to live in. You'll notice as well, the staff area here is all nice and hidden away. I put it behind, I built like this wall here and then this door and it comes through here. And then we've got the staff area over here, which leads to the back of quite a few enclosures and stuff. Like it's really well linked up this thing. Probably a bit better than my current zoo. <laughs> that we're working on. Got Hydration Hill here uh, with like just some water and smoothies which people could eat. I built all these buildings myself this time rather than importing them like I'd done in the last two zoos. Like I built this building here and these ones over here as well. Pretty basic looking, but it was like me just starting to learn as we progress, you'll see things get a little bit better in this zoo. Then we have our reptile house, which I was really proud of this when I built this. I still kind of am. It's still pretty cool. Oh, also there is like staff area behind here as well. Like the staff areas in this are like sort of like separate. I quite like this idea of having them separate rather than all together like I've currently got them. But yeah, this is our reptile house. As you can see, it is massive. It took me ages to build this structure. And if we head inside, you can see we've got some more tortoises here. We have a really cool like viewing platform. We've got like glass in here. So like the kids can look through, I guess. And then we've got like the tortoises, which people can actually look over this wall. They go indoors and outdoors. There's viewing sections every angle for these guys. It's really, really cool. And then we've got another like glass bit over here as well, where they can have a look in at the tortoises as well. And then we actually go up the stairs, up a level here, where we've got our Komodo dragons. And like, this was like a really like fun thing to do. As you can see, there's all these rocks around here because it's just like, I'm pretty sure like, yeah, just weird sort of like glitchy stuff underneath. But people could come up here, look at the Komodo dragons, get a good view of them through the glass. Or they also had an outside section where you went down this ramp and then they could view from out here as well, which I thought was really cool. Very happy with that. But anyway, back at the start of here, there's actually another path over here, which goes up and you get up here and you get to our Nile monitors. And I was really happy with this enclosure. I've built all this myself. Really good viewing platform for the Nile monitors. And there's also like a glass one over here so you can look at them in the water. Big enclosure for them to live in. And then also there was this tunnel over here, which went off. And this actually led into another enclosure, which we'll get to in a second. Everything links up quite well in this zoo in comparison to the other ones. Got this little like walkway bit here, quite nice. And then here we've got our pea fowls. The one thing about this zoo is like the animals are all over the place. We've got tortoises and we've got crocodiles from like Australia. Then we've got like turtles and we've got Komodo dragons. And then we've got peafowls from India. And then we move on to Asia. And it's just like, it's all a bit all over the place. But yeah, the peafowl enclosure, this is where you can come from the tunnel up there into this enclosure down here. Or you can come through the gate there. Or there's another gate over here. So like real big access to this enclosure. Pretty cool looking, not amazing. And then we've got our Asia area, which is like the rest of this zoo, basically. We've got this big Asian food court bit where we've got like loads of benches to sit. Some restaurants and stuff look quite nice. I actually stole these off the workshop. They weren't mine. Some toilets over here, which I think I did make these myself. Quite happy with how they turned out. And then if we head over here, we have another little staff area over here, which is quite nice, quite like protected and stuff, like well decorated. And then we've got the snow leopards over here where I made this enclosure, which they kept escaping from. 
But I was quite happy with this. I think they look quite good. We've got lots of them in here. Some babies. I made this. To be honest, that looks terrible. Look how... Oh my gosh. Look how uneven that is. There's like so much more on the right hand side. Uh, but yeah, the snow leopards there. And then we had Asia where we went up this ramp. Up a hill over here. And straight away we've got our tigers. Bengal tigers in here. And you've got like a big glass section to view them from over here. Or... There's a little glass section here, or you can go up here and view them from down below. Watch this one take a poo like it's doing right now. So I was pretty happy with that. And then we've got a little house here with some Chinese pangolins in. So like this is all indoors, this one. You've got like an outdoor viewing section as well though. Lots of glass in this. Just wanted them to be like really easy to view all the animals in this zoo. I was kind of getting used to like building stuff and I made all this building myself. It took a long time I remember, but I was quite happy with the outcome. Pretty cool how it's got like the glass bit out here as well. Then we've got just some shops over here. I made this as well. This is when I was like starting to experiment with like building and the bits of individual wood and stuff like that. We've got a staff area in the center of this lake, which looks quite nice. And that's basically it for over there. We actually started our winter wonderland section, but I never finished that. Never even got started, to be honest. And then over here, past some toilets, we've got the red panda enclosure, which is like a sunken enclosure. I made like this whole little like platform for them to build this is like one of the last enclosures i made in this zoo but yeah really cool to like view these guys from up here pretty happy with how that one turned out had this really awkward sort of like pathway down to them though <laughs> as it was sunken whereas now in the new zoo we've got that hidden tunnel then up the top here we've got two enclosures first we've got our japanese macaques where they've got this water separating them and this fence around it so people can view them from over here there's also this sort of like underground section here which we built this rock sort of like place for them to be viewed from although literally no one ever used that as is the normal case of planet zoo and then over here is the final enclosure we built which was our giant pandas and this one i wasn't too proud of this is when i was like i kind of want to start a new zoo I always get this urge. So yeah, this one's like not terrible. We've got like this big building here, which I didn't really finish. Like I start, I was I was in the middle of finishing it, but you can kind of see what it looks like. Not the best, but not the worst either. And that's basically it. That was like my my first like proper zoo that I spent a long time on and I got proud of. So we're back to normal next week with another episode of the Smallish Zoo. But for now, I hope this tour of my other zoo has filled your planet zoo needs. I've just been really busy playing too much Minecraft. I'm sorry about that. But thank you for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you did. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye.